Today is Nottingham Forest versus Derby County. The East Midlands rivalry is back. It's an early kickoff on a Saturday. The Brian Clough Trophy is up for grabs. Currently, it sits in the Nottingham Forest Trophy cabinet, but Derby will be hoping to be able to take that off Nottingham Forest today. The two sides are separated by 10 places in the league. Nottingham Forest sit fifth, coming off the back of a 2-1 away win at Luton. Derby County sit 15th after a 2-0 home win over Middlesbrough. Graben ended his goal drought for Nottingham Forest against Luton in that 2-1 win and Tom Lawrence was on super form against Middlesbrough, scoring two neat goals. Forest are the favourites today. They sit in a high league position and have been playing better football. But Derby County, they come off the back of a 2-0 win against Middlesbrough, played some confident football in that and it'll be interesting to see how Philip Koku lines up today. As I've mentioned, Forrester fifth, coming off the back of a 2-1 away win at Luton. It's a tough place to go, Kenilworth Road. And they did well to get a 2-1 win there. I heard that Luton had 70% possession. The last time these two sides met was in the Carabao Cup. And it ended Forest 3, Derby 0. The scoreline says it all. And Forest were clear winners in that game. Yeah, the cup weren't brilliant. 3-0 loss said it all. But we go again today. Nottingham Forest away. I love it. You can't beat your local rival away day. But it's just going to be a really tough one today. I'll give you a score prediction now since I've already told you the stats. I'm going to say a 2-1 Derby County win. I'm always positive that the Rams can get a win in any game. But, you know, that's positivity there. A 2-1 win. Tom Lawrence for both goals. He's been on form against Borough. And hopefully we'll carry that form on. But there you go and grab him for Forest. Come on, you Rams. Right, Rear Forest vlogger Jack Pugsley. Great content. Go subscribe to him. What's your thoughts later today? Uh, look, you know, I think obviously last game we beat you 3 0. I think we've got a lot of confidence off that. Obviously, what's going on behind the scenes at Derby as well. Uh, Keo, everything that's happened there, Lawrence, Bennett, I think we're going to, you know, play on that in a way. Uh, my score prediction is 2 1 today. Uh, I think Graham and Rivera are going to get our goals. I think Lawrence will get consolations to shush the Forest fans. Uh, but look, I've got a lot of confidence going into the game, and I think, I think we'll win today, definitely, yeah. Fair play. Cheers, mate. Strong team from us in the lineup. Players that I'm looking to perform today Tom Lawrence, Jack Mayer. Chris Martin's got to be able to hold up that ball and lay it off. And, It'll be interesting to see how we play. If I do find out we're playing the diamond, I'll let you know. But it's going to be an interesting one. shinny has got to be a big character on that pitch there as well. Right, we with Tyler Toft. What's your thoughts on it today? Not going to be an easy game at all. We haven't won here since 2012. We haven't won here since 2012. And, you know, we haven't won an away game since the first game, which was Huddersfield. Um, it's not going to be easy today. Obviously, we sit 15th, I think it is. Forest 5th. They're doing all right at the minute, but after looking at the team lineup, I do think we'll get a draw from this. I'm going to say a one-all draw. Hopefully, we can grab a win because it is a really good squad. But yeah, either way, come on the Rams. Come on your Rams. Really, really good chance there. Tom Lawrence and it's Samba Price took a deflection. Fantastic save, but really good play there. First chance. Forest just had a spell of pressure 
Adoma put inside, tried a shot. Ruse cleared it away. Managed to palm it away. Got to get hold of the ball. Quite a little half time thing, as I think the second half's about to kick off. Okay, first half from us. Forest don't look to be playing their best football, I think. Grabwin should have had a shot on target in that second half, but they have had the better chances then, as I think Forest. But it looks end to end, and it's got a 1 0 written all over it. But Tom Lawrence has looked dangerous for us at Highlight, and Shin has been a key player. Clark did go off injured uh, for Bielik to switch in centre back, and George Evans to come on in older midfield. Hopefully, we can kick on this second half and get a goal. Come on, you Rams. We seem to be sitting back in our own half and Forrester having a lot of pressure right now and they're just going round us. Balls into the box, corner to Forrest. Early pressure and we're sitting back. I missed that, I turned away and they've got the ball on the edge of our box, slots it away, Roos doesn't dive. Forrest take the lead. Error like that. 1-0 Forest. Since that goal, we're all over the shot. Forest just running at us now with it. This ain't looking good. Got to, got to get back in shape quick and hold the ball up. We're going to concede again. chance like that but just not hard enough for Marriott 15 minutes to go and Sandra Price did really well to dive onto that. Oh. Think about it. some good chances in this past what five ten minutes there's not long to go but martin marriott wagon uh, wagon did well there but just can't get one on target and when we do it's not good enough come on Time, Forest one, Derby nil. And now if from us gives Forest their goal. Uh, I'll talk more in the car, but what's most disappointing is we had enough chances to get something out of that. But it was a one goal game. This point not have to got something today. I thought we actually played pretty well. In that first half it was end to end, and like I said, I thought Forest edged it in terms of chances. But in that second half, people saying it wasn't our half I actually thought we had three really good chances in that second half to get an equaliser against Forest we sat back too much in that first 10 minutes of that first half and that invited Forest pressure and we gave the goal away Jaden Bogle unfortunately making an error passing it across the box you don't ever do that and Graben picks the ball up and slots it away in the bottom corner it's disappointing to give away a goal like that but there you go we do respond well though after about maybe five to ten minutes a bit of shakiness after that we do respond well we start coming forward more and we have a couple of decent chances I remember I think it was Davis headed one back across to 
Jack Marriott who doesn't connect with it cleanly and Samba Price dives and it's not in the corner enough or with enough power. And there was another one I think just before that where Marriott tried to put it across goal but it ended up straight at Samba Price. But it's disappointing today not to have got anything I thought we could have but there you go, that's the East Midlands derby and it's the championship. You can play well and, and not get anything out of it. But if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.